gone good with it. I think the meta is definitely, I know this is 9.2, but we're starting to see a lot more Ken and Jace coming out of the top lane. Ken is just a great split pusher, great team fighter, has great laning phase presence, and the only thing that really takes the him out of the way we will not see an Urgot in the game is through a ban. So, 9.2, thank the Lord that we'll be going to 9.4 uh, soon enough. Yeah. But that's why you're only really getting to see the Jace, the Vladimir, all these. Technically, Vladimir is also fine in the Urgot, but not in the laning phase. Just because of how good yeah. Vichy were going. Beefcake. Yeah, Beefcake. They play it safe. Yeah, oh, this, we'll see how safe this is. I <laughs> think this is them ramming it in. If you've ever seen a team fight <laughs> composition, this is literally it. Vichy versus Snake. Vichy wants to end it with the all in engage. And Snake are just saying, yeah, you could do that. But we'll still be alive. <laughs> we just and our counter that. engage is going to be a little Always bit better. Vision. Makes it so he can make the better decision, or at least have more options. This is rough. Yeah, that's a good scat of the week. Jay has to burn through all of his corrupting potions this early. Mala doesn't have enough mana though to continue the trades. Remember, this is the same position Mala was in in the last game. He has more HP aiming. Yeah, they can just come for it any time. Defensive SOFM can get this. this bad timing for Vici though. The flash forward body bomb there. Elastic swing shot right back in. That's the 80 carry dead. And Jay comes down with a teleport glacial pass away. That's exactly what he has to do. And that's a big win for Snake. Um, and acting the whole engaged bottom lane with Jarvan and Thresh. This time around, yeah, man. Oh, they're so confident. They're clearing the ward. Wasn't going to happen. Oh. Let's bounce. Doesn't connect. Double headman pulverize as well. Southwind just turns it back around. SOFM going to be pushed out as well. Almost bursted down. Saved by Alistar, but mis-executed by Snake. You would know that this is happening. But SOFM has been bot side for so long. And Kennen and Lissandra have had so much control within their own lane. At the very least, Kennen has. This could be done. They even knew that VG were going to be, or at least they even knew that their bottom lane was going to be coming up to rotate. So not only do they have the rotate, go. they get back in the end, actually ulting in. Flutter doesn't have enough mana. Puff is caught out. Galio with a one man toll, two man pull rise, ults in. A sure killer instinct. Puff goes gold. Ike is here. Cops are away. The anti carry still doing damage, oh. but all the way in. SMF dive. Finds the first one. Let's bounce. Flashed away from as well. Teleport in from Beachy Gaming Snake, commit five members top and get a kill. They had the time. So it might be crucial. This is dangerous for Beachy. Mid lane, Jay does not have mana. Spine it away, stolen by SOFM, and they just walk out. They have control for so long now. As long as they're top side of the map completely to a snake. And I can just be caught out. The slingshot there. Why was that the let's bounce? I'm not sure. Scout of the week. Unleashed power should come through from Marla. He has it available, but they're going to leave it up to the bottom lane. Kill goes over to Maestro. Interesting from Zach, though. Raz? He's a star. <laughs> so, if there's going to be experience behind him, I'm not going to question too much. He does pick up the Ocean Drake off the back of that as well. We're getting a plethora of dragons. Three biggest weapons. Razors, there we go. Okay, all right. Has been picked up from Asura. He's going to be doing great from the back. Oh, not again. This time, Ike actually does secure it, though. And Snake did not play that front back team fight, actually ulting back down to the wave. This is the third time we've seen Flying Ray ult to the wave. Feels good to get the CS, but realistically, actually, it's it's the longer it gets. Well, it's going to start off now. Jay's being caught out close to can't be taking. Can he ult? Yes, he can, but Azure is waiting over the side. Doesn't find the last shot. Instead, it's Marla who gets it. Scan of the week will go wide. The V there on the south wind. Back over to Dragon Snake, continuously getting picks. Might be slow, but it's working. I think we're still waiting for that engage, but Marlo could scatter the week again, so the improvement's there, so we're fed slingshots in, we'll find the elastic slingshot support, Dykes, never mind, that's not what we're looking for, the sign engages in, it's the port, Galio, Southwind gets disrupted, destroyed, deleted, Dykes is next there, the second skin makes magic, and Snake get two more, the 0-6 game now leads us to the big Worm. I love that SOF fan was just playing it slowly, saying, I'm not going to jump on top of you, Poppy, <laughs> but I'm going to jump close enough to your own ward to bring you into it. So, Snake are playing it slow, successful, no jungle and support. Beachy should not contest this, but they're feeling desperate. Shalita wants to ult in to nine. He pops it so darn early as well. Oh, Only no. finds Maestro J in such a bad position. And this is all going wrong for Beachy Gaming. Breaking at the seams. Snake take Baron. That's on the uh, highlight reel that has like that one view on Reddit. You know? That's <laughs> the goal that you have. Like, you feel good yet? Because the team fights ain't looking good for you, buddy. 
Andre entering the fight was a big impact there. He's got level 16. He'll be entering it again soon. The dive now happening. Here comes Fine in the back end. Goes past everyone. Fine gets absolutely nothing. Chalenta's into the back line here. Everything for Snake doesn't line up. Hero's entrance. Face throws down. Ashura still alive, however. And Chalenta has to get out of there. He's healed back up. But look at Snake's health bar. Puff is still full health. And South Wind in two. A two for one trade in the end. But it's still dicey here for Snake. Pop can't clear that wave. They're calling his bluff on that one. Walk forward, the War Mugs is coming into effect. And That's look right. at the damage on Southwind. SOFM, Flandre back to half. Southwind can't clear waves. Puff neither. This is going to be the inhibitor dropping scan of the week just a bit short. But Chalitza, his ult was very impactful in that fight. Almost cleans house. Just, like a, just take a look at Sion. That was a hard fought fight. But then he's out <laughs> for like five seconds. 111. 111. This is that you, for such a, a, a composition that's struggling, they just need to be able to pick it up immediately. But it's Snake that has all the vision control. That they can just do whatever they want underneath this tower. Asura, just take a look at him. Picks up the turret, moves up, plays back, and he's able to just wait for the storm to come through from Chalice before he finally dives in. This is probably the most safest and secure a certain spell throughout this split. He's just trying to get rid of Flandre at that point. He's just like, this tank is just so annoying. The sign doesn't die. And then Beachy Gaming do. Another elemental there for Snake. Right now, you can see it. They're setting it up. I just love to see that Earth Dragon come in. SOFM. He does find the stretching strike, but nothing to connect. Now for Snake, just waiting in the river. Getting the scuttle here was beneficial for Beachy Gaming. They know they're not right in front of the Baron pit. Drop down the redemption now. They know they're not in Baron itself, so there's only a couple of places left to guess, and Beachy don't have to check. Well, the scuttle grab is just going to make it harder or easier. The, the idea that you think you have vision, here we go. Like, they don't know that there are members inside, or maybe they do, and Blondre is just playing the most, the largest bouncer, bouncer you've ever seen in a clay club. Hey, it does not die. You do, you want to get in? Oh, no. Not this time. Poppy Hammer hits Zach. That's not what you want. Ike's now with the Glacial Pass all the way in. No one takes it. Beachy Gaming lose their jungler. They just have to sacrifice life. It's like they've got Baron, they've got Death, and now they want top lane turret. Look, at this point, who are you afraid of? Ike's is down and out. He is the only member that can really make a team fight look exciting or unpredictable. Now you're saying maybe a Galio, but he's a support Galio with no AP, no real HP as well. So uh, goodbye, Tower. There's no way he can test this for Vici Gaming. Chalitz is just waiting for that perfect ultimate, but I fear it might not exist here. Inhibitor 1, Inhibitor 2. Count your chickens before they hatch. They're hatching damn fast. Maybe it's counting your eggs, doesn't matter. Counting, counting something here. Let's make it 2, they're out. Little dragon there. That's gonna be a dumb this from going down. They don't want three inhibitors. They have all their members ready. No vision from Snake around that side. To play it pretty safe here as well, just clearing out some of the vision from Beachy Gaming. Chalitza is still too far behind. Oh, no, they have to go play. Oh, doesn't land there from Flandre. They get the inhibitor turret, but Beachy Gaming defense still continues. Stretching strike again on the south, because they do pull him back. He's ever escaping the scatter of the weeks what? there. Elastic Swing Truck doesn't connect. Puff is free hitting here. Watch Jay there. Glacial Path, two man room down. Will he survive long enough? Pops the ultimate, but Chalitza hasn't altered just yet. We're waiting for this. Kenneth and Jay's already dead. Flandre's back in with the ultimate. Ike drops down. The four man ult does not mean a thing there for Chalitza and Snake. Unfortunately, a way too far ahead. Otherwise, there was a perfect chance. But Forashura, he picks up a quadra kill, and that'll do it. Snake have just blitzed through this game, smashed down Beachy Gaming, and we didn't think we'd see it after game number one, but Snake take us to a third. That was very clean, and also very oppressive from a very tanky lineup. At that point, if you saw that team fight back, and if you didn't know how far behind the team of Beachy Gaming were, you're like, my god. Lissandra ultimate, that was beautifully well played, right in the back line. Cannon ultimate, oh my goodness, poor people. A four-man taunt with Galio. That was as good as you can make it. But, you take a look back, and just looking at the composition, compositionally, that is so hard. It's impossible to come back when you have, like, the, the cannon damage, the Lissandra damage, very low damage mages is supposed to set you up to succeed. Yep. And a Varus that just scales off as the game goes on against a very beefy lineup. It's rough when, especially since Chilitza, all his damage is just into Flandre. It doesn't yeah. really mean a thing.